CMake or Ninja? Which build system should you use? That's actually a rather weird question, but it's a question that people ask nonetheless. So let's answer it. And to do that, I'm going to compare the two build systems with actual code, and you're gonna see very quickly why that's a weird question and what you should do instead. So let's take a quick look at each of the build systems. CMake is a build system that allows you to take one script and build the software for all, basically all the major operating systems using any C or C++ compiler tool chain you want. And here is an example script, just a simple one, compiles two files, two source files into a Hello World executable. And over here is the nin equivalent Ninja script. So if you look at it, it's a bit reminiscent of good old GNU makes make files, but with most of the programmability removed. So there is no string manipulation, no pattern matching or useful features like that, which begs the question, why? Why did Ninja's creators remove features that are very useful? One word, speed. Straight off the Ninja website, Ninja is a small build system with a focus on speed. It differs from other build systems in two major respects. It is designed to have its input files generated by a higher level build system, and it is designed to run builds as fast as possible. So right there, that tells you two things. One, the primary goal is speed, especially with incremental builds. And this is very useful when you have incredibly large projects like say a web browser, Google Chrome, for example, and where speed matters. You've got hundreds of th thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of files. So in order to do that, they have traded things like uh, flexibility and scripting. So they've traded scriptability for speed. And then two, as a result of trading scriptability for speed, you're not supposed to write Ninja build scripts by yourself. Instead, you're supposed to use a higher level build system like CMake to generate it for you. And this is why CMake versus Ninja is a weird question. Because Ninja's own authors are literally telling you not to write the build scripts by hand, but to use something like CMake instead. The only reason I've written a Ninja build script by hand is to show you what it looks like. And just in case you're thinking, you know what, I want to try write Ninja build scripts by hand anyway. Let's have a look at a slightly more complicated project. So this project, here's the CMake script, and this project will fetch Raylib off the internet and build it, and then link a single file to that library. And over here is the generated build script. It's actually in two files. So you've got some build rules over here, and then you've got the main build script and it's big, it's verbose, and it's ugly. Now to be fair, some of the verbosity is CMake's fault because it will write file paths out in full and generally write rather bulky code. But putting that aside, look at all these build statements. Right? It just keeps on going on and on. There's a build statement for every source file in the project, including every source file in Raylib. Writing something like this out by hand would be very tedious and possibly error prone, not the kind of thing you'd want to do. And added to that, if you look here, this is clearly tied to Visual Studio. These are typical Visual Studio flags. Whereas the original build script can be used to build this code on Windows or Mac OS, Linux, and more. So forget CMake versus Ninja and ask instead, should I use CMake with Ninja? And the answer is yes, at least for big projects. For small projects, it doesn't really matter. But for big projects, Ninja's fast build speed is a time saver. But writing Ninja build scripts by hand certainly is not. So effectively using them together, CMake and Ninja, you get the best of both worlds. So you get the benefit of CMake for writing cross-platform software while you get the incremental build speed of Ninja. Now, CMake does have a steepish learning curve, which is probably why some people hate it, but it's actually quite good once you learn how to use it properly. And to help you with that, I've created the CMake tutorial, which will get you up to speed with CMake quickly. So you can get that over at cmaketutorial.com. That's cmaketutorial.com. I'll leave a link below. 
Or maybe you want to see a few more build system comparisons first, in which case check out the next video over here. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.